Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, showing how you can use the layers in the animator in order to get the uh, gargoyle to do uh, more stuff than we've included in the animations. Um, so I've imported the model here, the package, and I've just brought the uh, LOD one into um, the scene. I put the textures on him. And we're going to go with that for now. Uh, we're going to create a new controller so I'm just going to copy the one that we have here this is the one that comes with it it's the demo one with all the different animations attached uh, and you can see of course in the demo scripts how we call those uh, animations via code uh, we're just going to duplicate this and we're going to call it gargoyle uh, blended and we'll bring that onto the gargoyle um, so that when we have him selected we can see that gargoyle blended and we have that animator here. So what we first need to do is create an avatar mask um, and to do that it's actually quite simple uh, anywhere in your project right click uh, or your favorite method of doing this and uh, you want to create avatar mask. Uh, we're going to call this gargoyle wings um, and if this was a humanoid you could just select stuff um, with a picture but it's not humanoid so we're going to use the transform you do need to bring in the uh, skeleton from the gargoyle, the avatar there. We're going to import that. And we're going in the top three here, we're going to deselect the body. And we're going to click on the garg root to deselect all of those. You're going to want to find the wings. We have the left wings right here and the right wings right here. That's all you have to do. And it's already set up. Uh, there's no need to apply any details or anything. Now, in your animator window, We'll deal with that down here. Uh, we'll bring this over just a little bit. Um, you want to create a new layer. Uh, above the base layer, there's this plus symbol. Go ahead and click that and call this the wings layer or whatever you want. Um, we're going to uh, create a new empty animation. We're just going to loop um, the flying one, so fly idle loop. We'll bring that in there. That way it just loops. Um, so right now we have the idle running. Uh, the reason why the wings aren't moving, it is running, but the wings aren't moving because their weight is set to zero. If we bring the weight up to one, now we have the wings moving. Oh, look at that. I was confused for a second because the gargoyle went up, and that's because we haven't uh, signed our avatar mask. So we do need to do that. We need to bring the mask over. You can't actually click and drag over because the window disappears. So you'll have to use the little selector gargoyle wings. I think I spelled that wrong, did I? I did spell it wrong. Okay, well you can spell it right. Uh, and now when we bring the weight up, the wings move by themselves and the body does not move. Now, you can do that um, with multiple things here. Uh, with the weight, you can bring it down a little bit so it's not quite as apparent. Um, you can bring it all the way forward and of course you can turn it off. This is good for uh, times when you don't want the wings to skip a beat basically or you want them to keep flying. Um, while you do other things. So now I'm going to create a second uh, avatar mask. This is going to be called gargoyle body. Now uh, you think that maybe I could just do the body on the base layer. So if I want the root motion to stay with the with the base layer and uh, the body to be uh, free from the from the need to use the root uh, to, to overwrite the root motion. Otherwise um, if I do something in the base layer even though the wings keep beating the, the the root motion stops so for the body we're going to keep the body we're going to get rid of the wings garg root is the root motion and you can actually see that uh, right here the root node is garg root slash garg, garg pelvis so what we're going to do in our body transform we're we're going to ignore the pelvis and we're going to select everything else underneath that except for the wings so we need to deselect the wings. That way the wings can continue to be on their own. There we go. Uh, and we're going to create again another new layer here. And we're going to call this uh, body layer. And in here we're going to bring our body mask. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to do select there. Again, I'm going to take this camera. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And I'm going to align the camera with the view, and I'm going to attach it to the uh, gargoyle. 
Now, uh, he's flying forward. We can see him flying forward in a... Uh, there we go, in the scene view. And the wings are beating independent of the body. Now it's the same animation, so there's no difference between the two. The body layer here, however, um, if we bring that up, it won't actually do anything because we don't have an animation plane. So we first need to create a state, an empty state. And we're going to uh, do the attack, um, the fly attack one, a two. Um, that one is, uh, oh, let me do that again. Um, okay, we'll make this trans, uh, default state. Um, fly attack two. Now this is the one where he uh, wipes with his hand. And theoretically, if we make a duplicate of this, make a transition down here, make a transition, it should just go back and forth between the two. Yeah, so it'll just play over and over and over again. Now if we bring the weight of this up, there we go, he swipes, he swipes, he swipes, and he is also continuing to move while he swipes. So um, the potential here is basically you can mix animations together as long as the root motion stays on the base layer and your other layers don't affect that, then the, he'll get the root motion from the base layer. Um, if we want to, we could make this, let's go back to the game view, uh, we can make this attack 2, which is not even a flying attack, and then when it comes down, oh, we gotta bring the weight back up, I guess, uh, now he's doing attack 2, which is very similar to attack 1, but there we go, um, we could do attack 1, uh, these, the weight went down again, okay, the weight has to go up again, not sure why that's happening. That's a fly attack, this is the ground attack. Um, and we can do really funky things if we do like uh, uh, cast two, which is the, the hands out, bring the weight back up. So now you can have him firing down rays of uh, you know energy from the top. Now, if you want to, you could actually make a layer mask for just the shoulders and arms and his feet will continue doing the, the base layer uh, animation while his arms go out. There's really um, really a lot you can do with that. Uh, there's too much for us to build it in, so I want to make this video to show you how you can really easily um, use animation layers to change up the look and feel of the, barbar uh, of the um, gargoyle character and also keep the wings flapping without uh, any blips between transitions. Sometimes when you have a transition from one animation to another, if uh, the wing animation isn't the same, then it can have a little bit of a, of a, a hesitation or a speed up that isn't ideal for visually. So uh, hopefully that makes sense to you guys um, and uh, enjoy yourself.